Hello, welcome to another video. We'll be taking the derivative of the first hyperbolic function in the sequence because I'm going to take in quite a number of derivatives and doing some integration also, if possible, relating to hyperbolic functions. And what I want to say is there's always this controversy about how to say this. So if you live in America or you have American education, you say this is cinch x. But if you are in Britain or any country with British education, you call this shine x. I like to shine, so I'm going to call it shine x. Forgive me if you live in America. Let's get into the video. So the first thing I'm going to say is we need to know what this is. Okay, hyperbolic sine, for this, to avoid controversy, I'm going to just say hyperbolic sine instead of saying sinh or shine. Okay, um, the, the definition of hyperbolic sine is this. When you, so we know that sine hyperbolic of x is equal to e to the x minus e to the negative x over 2. Now, how do you know whether it's going to be negative or not. I just wanted to know if the minus sign is important because it's important which one has the minus sign. You can't put the minus sign here because the minus sign is important. It means this function is sensitive to the minus sign, which means it is an odd function, which means you know it's the sine version of the hyperbolic trig ratios. So you want to use that to um, remind yourself how to find this. So I can write this another way and say this is one half of e to the x minus one half of e to the negative x. So this makes your differentiation easy. So we can go back here and say y equals half e to the x minus half e to the negative x. So this is what we need to differentiate. And the good thing about this, that's why e is, a, is, a, is an amazing function because it's easier to differentiate anything expressed as an exponential function in terms of e. So now, let's go. So what is dy dx? The derivative of this will be equal to, um, if you differentiate e to the x, you get e to the x. So this is equal to 1 half e to the x. If you differentiate this, this is minus one half. Now, if you differentiate this, you're gonna get minus e to the negative x. Okay, so let's clean this up. This is gonna be, I'm gonna pull out the one half. Okay, let's write e to the x. And this is gonna be plus one half e to the negative x, which is equal to one half of e to the x plus e to the negative x. And this, is what you call the hyperbolic cosine of x. So dy dx is equal to the hyperbolic cosine of x. If we differentiate cosine, hyperbolic cosine, will we get minus hyperbolic sine? We don't know yet. We have to figure that out. Okay. Until then, never stop learning because those who stop learning have stopped living. Bye-bye.